What's up, it's Vince Leo from VinceLeo.com. Now, I've been doing a lot of savory recipes lately, but I thought it was time to change things up a bit and do a dessert. So today, we're gonna be knocking out three ingredient fudge. Now, this is a recipe from Emily over at This Ross and Vegan Life. Now, this recipe is so easy to make. Like I said, there are only three ingredients. It's also vegan, gluten-free, raw, and paleo. So let's go ahead and make some chocolate fudge. Now, for this recipe, you will need the following ingredient. Two thirds of a cup of raw cacao powder, half a cup of melted coconut oil, and two thirds of a cup of coconut nectar. Now the recipe calls for brown rice syrup, which I don't have, so I'll be using coconut nectar instead. To make the fudge, place the coconut oil, cacao powder, and coconut nectar into a bowl, and then stir all the ingredients together until you have a smooth, thick chocolate batter. Then spread the batter evenly into a lined pan and leave in the fridge until solid about one hour. Next, place the fudge onto a cutting board and then cut it into squares with a knife. All right, so it's been about an hour and our chocolate fudge is done. Now it's time to give it a taste. All right, so that chocolate fudge is delicious. Now, it's a little too sweet for what I normally like to have, but Emily did mention if you want to adjust the flavor, you could always add a little more cacao and adjust the coconut oil, and if you want it even sweeter, add more coconut nectar. Now, there are two optional ingredients you could add as well, one being flake salt and the other being vanilla powder. And I think either one of those ingredients will actually help the flavor of the chocolate fudge. Now, for me personally and my diet, that is a lot of oil and sweetener to have at one time, so what I'll probably end up doing is just taking the fudge and chopping it into smaller pieces and then placing it in the freezer and then whenever I want to add a little chocolate flavor to something whether it be a smoothie or something that I'm making I'll just throw in a little fudge so leave me a comment let me know if you ever make your own chocolate fudge at home and what you thought of this recipe and if you like this video give it a big thumbs up subscribe to the channel as I post new videos every week and join the fit from food notification squad by clicking on that bell next to the subscribe button and remember to keep living fit from food and I'll talk to you soon bye